Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about some Schmitka watercolors. Now I know they are about ready to release a few more sets of their super granulating watercolors. I went ahead and picked up some singles because if you've looked at their sets, some of them are kind of repetitive. And I don't need all those colors to have a few really nice granulating ones. So I went ahead and cherry picked some ones that I thought I would use the most. One happens to be from the new collections. I'm not sure when all the sets are actually releasing, but they do have the individual ones at, and I will have that down below. But let me get out these precious babies for you. All right, let's discuss the colors I got. You're gonna notice a lot of them are from the Tundra set. If I had to buy a set, it'd be the Tundra set. I really like those colors, but anyway, I got one of the new shades, Shire Blue. I think they've had this existing already. This is Forest Gray. And I think this looks the most intriguing out of all their super granulating colors. This is the Tundra Violet. Tundra Rose. Tundra Green. Now in the pictures I was looking at, I didn't think that these two look so similar. And you know, this is just the color on the outside of the tube, but the uh, Forest Gray and the Tundra Green sure do look a lot alike at this point in time. Hopefully they are different when I swatch them out. But I do use a lot of green, so it might not be the worst thing on earth, but this didn't look so olivey in the pictures I was looking at. But we'll just have to see. All right, I'm going to show you another cool little thing I got. And this was not from Jerry's. This was just off of Amazon, I guess. I seen this cute little ceramic palette. I thought that was so adorable. Um, I don't have room in my big palette for these. So I'm just going to put little bits of them out at a time in this little cute palette. At first glance, it sure does look like I got a lot of green. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is the Tundra Violet is a lot more watery than the other ones. The other ones seem to have a little more body, but I mean, I don't think that probably matters a whole lot. Just, I noticed that. All right, let's get to swatching.
holy pejesus look at those these are fun now of course i've already told you a million times i am not a watercolor expert however i do know a little bit about these so it's the colors that are mixed that separate and make these colors i believe so you can make these yourself if you know the color pigments which i'm sure they list on here but i i don't get into all that but i believe that's what makes these super granulating but look how interesting this is so this is already it's not really a rose color this is actually tundra pink but um it's not overly pink it's more like a plum that then turns into maybe what i would call a violet color a cool toned violet now the tundra violet i don't see any violet in it but i mean maybe i know you might consider this dark blue a violet. I mainly see a nice dark blue, almost navy blue, turning into these orangey colors. Beautiful. This, this activated just like I thought it was going to. Absolutely beautiful. Shire blue. I thought it was going to be a little more blue in the pictures I was looking at. That's fine, but this is a almost an emeraldish teal green. And you can see those colors plus maybe a grass green there are blues in here there's a lot going on in here i know it doesn't look as impressive as these two but there seems to be a lot of different colors popping through on here if you really get to looking and this tundra green it is more of an olivey color and you can see like the peachy orange coming through on it down to maybe more of a little true green peeking through Forest gray, you honestly don't need both of these. This is definitely a more cool tone, gray olive. You can see some of the same colors in here. Uh, it's fading out to maybe more of a tan color other than peachy going on here. Still beautiful. Um, I'll use them both. This is a little more cool, a little more warm, depending on what you... Uh, when I get out of these. But yeah, if you were looking at these, you don't need both. Not in my opinion. You could maybe just add a little of the Shire Blue to this and probably get something very close to that one. I still enjoy it. I still am glad I own them. Well, these were certainly awesome. I'm going to play around with these some more. I have a feeling that I've just created a monster for myself because I am going to probably need a couple more colors. Don't you think I need to round this out? I definitely need more of the uh, reddish orange colors that are coming out in the volcano set for sure. Orangey reds, maybe another brighter pink. I think so. I think I need them, don't you? So guys, hey, let me know if you have these, what you think of them. If you have them and you have a particular color that you just really like and think, yeah, she'll probably like the way this granulates. This is interesting. Let me know down below. I wouldn't mind picking it up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you like these kind of videos, let me know down below so I know what kind of content to give you all. And uh, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed already. It really helps my little channel grow. I so much appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.